In this video, I'm going to show you all the different characters in Broforce. I'm going to show you all the movies and the pop culture icons that the characters in the game parody. And I'm also going to show you what their regular armor and their special moves are. And so you can see everything awesome about the game. The first bro that you get is Rambro. And he's the only one that doesn't get like an official introduction. And he is a parody of Rambo. And this movie is First Blood. This is the first Rambo movie. Don't push it. Huh. Don't push it. I'll give you a war you won't believe. You don't seem to want to accept the fact that you're dealing with an expert in guerrilla warfare. Are you telling me that 200 men against your boy is a no-win situation for us? You send that many. Don't forget one thing. A good supply of body bags. His regular weaponry is... A gun that's a lot like the one that he has in the movie there. It's like an automatic weapon. And then he also has a grenade that he throws. And that's a special item, so it's not unlimited. You have to pick up ammo. Bro -mando. And the second bro is Bromando, which is from the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie Commando. This movie was known for how it was kind of a comic portrayal of violence and there's some really funny lines in this movie. I highly recommend watching it. So his regular weaponry is a um, rocket launcher and his ammo is like it, his special move is where it launches multiple rockets. Then we have Mr. T. He grew up in my neighborhood. He was the baddest cat around until I showed up. Still is. And that's B.A. Baracus from the A-Team. Mr. T. Pity the fool. He has a flamethrower and he throws a firebomb as his special move. Walker. You broke my nose! I'll fix it. Ah! <laughs> nah, it looks better the other way. This is a parody of Cordell Walker from Walker, Texas Ranger. His special move is that he throws an airstrike, and his regular weaponry is a shotgun that blasts a lot of bullets. It's real nice. Bro -hard. The sexiest bro. Yippee motherfucker. Die hard. He has a sick Uzi, and he throws a flash bomb, and that will, like, confuse enemies, and they will forget that you're there. Brower. Obviously a parody of MacGyver, which is a character who's been referenced okay. in all kinds of stuff over the years. Hi guys. Come down from there. Okay. Known for making creative little ploys to outsmart his enemies and he's a real handy, handy guy. His regular weaponry is dynamite, and the dynamite is sticky. His special move is he throws this turkey with a bomb in it, which distracts enemies, which is really useful if you have a bunch of enemies, especially. He climbs up the wall with chewing gum, and there's the sticky dynamite. Blade. Blade. There's a movie about a guy who kills vampires with a sword. And his special move is that he can, like, go through a bunch of stuff real fast, and his re regular armor is just a, a sword. Bro Dread. This is based on a comic book character called Judge Dredd. Hey, what are you doing? Didn't you hear what I said? I'll kill the bitch! Yeah, I heard you hot shot. What? I said, hot shot. Ha ha ha, I see what you did there. Hot shot. I get it. So he shoots a like a fire flame kind of gun, and his special is that it's a rocket, and you can like direct where the rocket goes. And also his gun like is the bullets are enemy seeking, so it's really useful when you've got one of those assholes that you have to kill. Bro, in black. Men in black. Goes without saying. So he's got that cricket gun. It's like a little gun that blasts real hard. 
And then he's got the memory eraser that stuns people. They forget that you're there. Snake Broskin! This guy's pretty hilarious. Nobody draws until this hits the ground. Snake Pliskin from Escape from New York. And there was also Escape from LA, but. Eh. <laughs> Eye patches were like kind of cool for a second when that was popular, which is kind of funny. So he has like a really sharp shooting gun and he throws a Molotov cocktail which will like set a huge area on fire. It's useful if you want to blow up like all those bombs without having to shoot them or get too close to them. <laughs> Robocop is what this parodies. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you have the right to an attorney. What is this shit? <laughs> Anything you say may be used against you. It's dead girl. Book him. What's the charge? He's a cop killer. He's a cop killer. Yeah. So his gun, like if you hold it, it will like fire a bunch of bullets or just one. His special move is that you can direct your enemy seeking bullets. Brominator. Come with me if you want to live. The Brominator, I think, I think it might be a Terminator reference. No, I'm just kidding. It is Terminator reference. It is a parody of Terminator. His regular weaponry is the minigun, like you saw in the movie clip. And his special move is that he turns into the Terminator! And he's kind of like, uh, he's not vulnerable to enemies, so you can go and you can like, go nuts. INDIANA BRONES! <laughs> so hilarious. So he has a whip. I'm sorry about the clip. I know that's not not a very good Indiana Jones movie, but the whip will like confuse enemies and kind of knock them out. It doesn't kill them all the time, but his whip is really good for getting into a tricky situation like that. And his armor is a gun. Ash Williams. Gotcha, didn't I, you little sucker? <sighs> Ash Williams. He was a guy from uh, the e Evil Dead series. So his regular weaponry is like really heavy duty shotgun and then his special move is using the chainsaw and you can like get real belligerent with that chainsaw. Mr. Underbrone. So this is supposed to be like Anderson aka Neo from The Matrix and when I was putting together these clips I was like I forgot how good this movie was. Too bad they didn't make any sequels. But so his move is where he can punch like a maniac. He can punch through walls better than a lot of the other guys can shoot through them. He's got a red pill as his special move and it kind of slows things down and he punches like crazy. And that's a cool thing where he can like hang on the side of something and punch it and he can dash. The this is a parody of the Boondock Saints. There's a couple of brothers. And they were, they were bad guys killing other bad guys. So they were like good guys. And there was a third guy that helped, helped them out. He's not in this clip, but he's in the movie if you watch it. And um, your special move is that you get to throw that guy into the ring. You get like a regular guy and an AI guy and then your special move is you get a third guy and he'll run down there and he'll help you kill the bad guys. 
Like, if one of them dies, you flash red like that, and then you fire like crazy, you have crazy ammo. If one of them dies, you still have yourself, and if you, like, get more ammo, you you get your other guys back. Bruschetta. So, this is a parody of Machete. It's kind of a quirky movie. Lady Gaga was in this movie. He throws knives. That's like his regular weaponry. And his special move is that he can throw a bunch of knives. And they will also, like, they will seek out enemies. It's not as exact, but, like, they will, he will point up at the enemy that is around and the knives will go there. Barbarian! Grant me revenge. And if you do not listen, then the hell with you. That clip is from... Conan the Barbarian, kind of the beginning of Arnold's career back when he did like Mr. Universe and stuff. He's got a sword. He doesn't have a gun, but his sword's pretty nice. And he goes, no, when he uses his, his special. Aliens. Yeah, this character is not a dude. It kind of looks like Luke Skywalker, but no, it's uh, Ellen Ripley from Alien. Badass. Get away from her, you bitch! This character is badass. She's got this like futuristic gun. And if you got a situation like that, you can throw the flame. Time cup. Fifty thousand volts, motherfucker. Have a nice day. Yeah, that dude was like really like limber and he traveled in time. So the special move here is that it like slows time down really slow so you can like run through and do a bunch of stuff. And then he's got that gun. That's his regular gun. Soldier. There must be a tracking device on me. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Look for something unusual. Something hard. Here we have Universal Soldier. Let me just tell you why that's funny. It's because, like, the soldiers were, like, they were dead and they were, like, brought back to life. Like, they used science to make dead soldiers into, like, indestructible soldiers. And so they were kind of derpy. Like, they didn't always understand things. So he didn't understand that that was, like, a sexual reference. That's why it's funny. His regular move is a gun. And... His special move is kind of weird. It's like a shot and it like brought back that little thing to life. So I don't know. Colonel James Brodock. The answer you give me. Decide whether you live or die. This is a parody of James Braddock from Missing in Action. A Vietnam soldier. And so he has his special move is Agent Orange and his regular weaponry is he shoots bombs. But Agent Orange was um, something that they used in Vietnam. Jerry Brolin! Jerry Darling. It's all you. Jerry Darling is one of the more obscure references from the game. She was a lady of the night that had a peg leg with a gun in it, and so she could shoot people with her leg. So her regular armor is this, and which is really useful if you've got a bunch of enemies that you need to get past, you can like just shoot over them. And she also launches a rocket out of it as her special move. Robux. Mad Max. Kid in the movie has boomerang, he has a sawed off shotgun. And the character in the game has a boomerang and like this flamethrower gun. And the flamethrower is like pretty deadly. Like for regular ammo, this one's one of the better ones. Like for hits hits per kill. The bride from Kill Bill.
This is one of my favorite movies of all time, so I'm really excited to see it in this game. She was badass as hell. So her character has a sword as the regular ammo and her special move is a a fist. She like punches. Double bro seven. the opening scene from Goldfinger and he's got a bunch of funny specials his regular weaponry is a gun with a silencer on it and I think that means like it doesn't alert other enemies when you shoot them when you shoot one it doesn't alert the other ones so his, his first special move is like he takes a sip from a martini glass and like throws it and he's got a jet pack He's got a watch with a laser in it, with a freaking laser. And then he has a mask where he goes like incognito and the bad guys don't like see him as an enemy. So he can sneak past like the really heavy duty bad guys. So that was all the bros. That was all their regular ammos and all their special moves and all of the different movies that they parody. So I hope you enjoyed this. And you know, if you did, you can keep tuning in and check out other stuff I do in the future. I don't really do videos like this very often. I mostly do Let's Plays, just FYI. But because I thought this game was so awesome and so cool, um, I really wanted to make this this video so that you could see what all the different bros are parodying and see how you can, you know, better utilize the characters when you play the game. So thanks for watching. Little Katie, peace and out.